Sammy, I need your help. Sure, which craft are we making today? No time for crafts. I'm participating in a beauty contest, and I need to come up with an artistic act. Well, you can make a craft. I can't take the stage for two hours. Everyone's going to either sing or dance. I'm sure no one's going to make one thing. <laughs> Which thing, Sam? Hey, where are you? Magic. <gasps> oh, you frightened me. <laughs> you mean magic tricks? Yep, coin tricks, for example. Are you sure that'll make me win? As a true magician, I can see the future, and I see you're gonna win. Fine, let's go practice a little. Let's do some magic! I'm telekinetic, I can move objects with my mind. <laughs> Did the cup move a little, or is it just my impression? Sam, don't strain yourself. Let me show you how to move a coin while being relaxed. Look, put the coin in your hand, and... It turns over! Come on, this time it's not about the sleight of hand. True, there is a trick. It's this magnet. You mean I didn't notice the magnet in your other hand? No, if it was in my other hand, the coin would pop to it. The magnet was under the table. I was holding it with my knee really tight. My hand was above it, but on the table. So under the magnet influence... The coin turns over! Here's another quick trick with the coin vanishing in the fist. Whoop. And let's bring it back. Voila. Is there another magnet somewhere? No, Sammy, no more magnets. It's sleight of hand. Do you want to say the coin was in your hand all the time? Practically. When I put it in my fist, I actually place it on my hand right here. All right. And then? After showing my hands are clear, I repeat the actions in reverse order. There. See? All right, I'm beginning to doubt what's real. I have to think it over. All right, guys, let's continue. Put your hands on the table, palms up. And place a coin in one of them? Right you are, Sammy. And now rapidly turn your hands over. Now, Sammy, where's the coin? Hop. You just need to catch it and turn the hand over. Right, Sammy. Now let me practice a little. One moment. And... Watch carefully. Boom! It's a different coin. Whoa! Can you transform a coin into a dollar, too? <laughs> no, the secret is in coins and their dimension. Before the trick, I put your coin under mine. You didn't even notice it because yours was smaller. Then you need to master this kind of movement. Once you learn it, one switch of your hand would be enough to switch the coins. Huh, I'm gonna check on my coin box. A shell coin! Ugh. Well, not bad, but let me try with my magic wand pen. Vanish! Merlin's beard, what's your pen made of? Dragon sinew, phoenix feather, and ink! Incredible! Is your beauty contest at Hogwarts or what? <laughs> Actually, it's very easy. You should pass the coin from one hand to another, being very quick and accurate. Start slowly, and then keep going faster and faster. It's kind of like levitation. The pen is just a distraction. The third time you're swishing the pen, throw the coin to the other hand. When the coin's there, all you have to do is take the cap and pretend the coin fell out of it. Cool. But please don't point me with your pen, just in case. Hi, guys. You're going to see something incredible. Sue! I'm here, Sam. What's up? Please, take a seat. All right, why? Magic is going to happen! Huh? All right, there we go. Uh, Sam, uh, is everything all right? Uh, uh, yes, perfect, Susie, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you a trick. There! <laughs> Sam, why are you tickling me? What are you up to? Oh, you ruined everything! I wanted to show a trick with swords. I saw it on TV. Oh, Sam, you need special magic swords and a lot of practice to do it. But don't worry, we can remake this trick using a cardboard craft. Wow, really? That's a cool idea, let's go! Hello, guys! Today you'll see an incredible trick with swords. To make it work, we need a cardboard piece like this, 9 by 20 centimeters. We're going to cut a magic sarcophagus. So sometimes it seems to me that you can make anything out of cardboard. <laughs> it may be true, Sammy. I love trying new cardboard crafts. 
Here's a piece we got. Well, 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 just what I need. The upper and lower sides are five centimeters long. We'll need two pieces like this. What's this? <laughs> Sam! You frightened me! <laughs> Sam? Oops, sorry. Perfect. Now it's time to draw a little. Let's mark the spots where special holes will be located. Without them, our trick won't work. Oh, shoot, don't worry. Everything will work perfectly with a trick master like me. No need for applause. <laughs> Sam, you better bring me the cutter you took away instead of boasting. Okay, be right back. So, here's our draft. Here we have sections three centimeters long and five centimeters here. Look out! Sam, be careful. Throwing a cutter is a bad idea. Sorry. Ugh. Now let's make cuts in the spots we marked. This way. Great. Do we need cuts here as well? Yes, Sammy. To make the pieces equal, we should put two parts together this way and mark the spots. Here we go. It's a very easy way to avoid mistakes. Awesome. Now let's cut out the holes here just as we did before. Huh, interesting. How will this mega trick work? Guys, do you like tricks? If yes, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell not to miss new magic videos. And done. Okay, now we're going to add another magic element. Little sticks of this kind. Each one is two centimeters long and we'll secure them here and here and here with glue. Abracadabra! Ew, your stick doesn't work. It's not magical. <laughs> Sam, don't rush. Trust me, our trick won't work without these sticks. Huh, we'll see. Guys, give a thumbs up to make these magic sticks work. Done. To assemble the sarcophagus, we need two strips five centimeters wide each. On each strip, you should mark the fold line this way. Now we take a cutter and make notches. Sue, I have a question. Who will we put in this magical sarcophagus? I personally vote for the hamster. <laughs> no, Sam, you'll have an assistant, just like any real magician. Wow, I'm going to get ready for the meeting. Our strips are ready. It's time to glue the pieces together. Sam! Yes, Sue, I'm here. I bet you can't make magic swords for our trick. Hey! Shouldn't have said that. Beware. <laughs> Sam. I have everything ready. This is a sarcophagus we made. Just a few small pieces are missing. Let's glue them one centimeter away from the borders. Wait, wait, I've almost finished. Hurry up, Sam. I've got everything ready. <laughs> wow, Sam, you did it! Not so fast, Susie. First, I want you to apologize for doubting my skills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sam, you're right. I'm sorry. You're the greatest sword-making master. Yes, right. Don't forget it. Guys, to make a sword like this, split a popsicle stick in two pieces and attach a piece of straw to the tip. A magic straw. <laughs> exactly, Sam. And now come here. I want you to meet your assistant. Meet Elisa. Elisa. <laughs> nice to meet you. We're going to amaze people together. <laughs> Sammy, wait. It's time for the show. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the greatest magician in history, Slick Slime Sam. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you an incredible trick. I'm going to plunge the swords into this magic sarcophagus with my beautiful assistant, Elisa, inside. Please, madam, I assure you that she will be safe and sound. Well, let's begin. This was unbelievable! Time to open our sarcophagus! Ta-da! Lisa, you are stunning! Bro, 
Bravo, Sam, bravo! Dear viewers, I hope you liked my trick. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell not to miss new cool videos. See ya!